So a few of us were having a discussion the other day about battery support and when we should use it. Now when we have a vehicle come into a collision center, we really don't necessarily know the state of charge of the battery or the condition of the charging system and things like that. And if we're bringing it in and we're immediately going to do a pre-scan or something like that, you know, we don't want to introduce the possibility of additional diagnostic trouble codes being set because for some reason the battery starting or the electrical system starting to drain and the state of charge starts to go down. Uh, ultimately, whenever the state of charge starts to go down and the voltage starts going down, we will start having modules drop offline. That'll start to introduce more diagnostic trouble codes, and that becomes a lot of noise we have to dig through and filter through whenever we're sorting through the diagnostic trouble codes in the system. So as we look at uh, this particular vehicle and hooking up a battery support device, uh, the vehicle manufacturer tells us do not hook the negative to the negative terminal. And the reason that is, is on the negative terminal, there is a uh, battery uh, monitoring sensor. It monitors all of the energy flowing into and out of the battery and the voltage of the battery and the temperature of the battery. And it takes care of uh, working with the management system for the uh, voltage and power in the system to keep that battery charged properly. So they do tell you to hook that onto the chassis of the vehicle, the body of the vehicle. We also want to make sure that whatever device we're using, uh, some sort of a battery support device, power source, that's a good filtered power source, that we have it set to maintain and not charge the battery, uh, especially if we're doing extended diagnostics or programming, because there is a risk that if you have the voltage set too high on one of those and it's set to charge, you can overcharge the battery and you can smoke it like you're going to see in this video clip right now. Hopefully that helps you out and you get your voltage set properly so it'll just maintain that system, let you do all your diagnostics and your scanning and whatever other procedures you need to do and uh, you have success. Mm -hmm.